IG comment slash a bunch of comments here. Um, if you're using Vista right now, I got really bad news for you. I'm not even, I know, I mean, I, oh, actually, since I also have Vista on this thing, as soon as I get a Mac disk or something, I could just replace that. That's how bad it is. I don't want it anymore. I don't want, I don't care if I paid for it. I'm not ready to just delete the shit. As soon as I figure out a way to play Combat Arms on Vista, on Linux, I'm not playing, I'm not using Vista ever again. Uh, <laughs> um, check the article. Uh, it's a, a website called Household Hacker that I use a lot. Well, not really use, read. You can find a lot of cool stuff. Um, I'm going to read off some of it. Two security researchers have developed a new technique that essentially bypasses all the memory protection safeguards in Windows Vista operating system. The advance that so many in the security community will say have far-reaching implications not only for Microsoft, but also in the entire technology industry thinks about that. Yeah, it basically, um, basically some people who try to hack just to see where you can hack and how others could hack found a way that you could hack Vista using its own security measures. And the only way to fix this is to not use a Microsoft product. Quite literally, it's the actual fundamental architecture of Vista and Windows in general that makes this possible. What can they do again? Uh, it's pretty big. Um, let's see what was it. All right. Alright, by taking advantage of the way that browsers, specifically of Internet Explorer, handle Active Scripting and .NET objects, the pair have been able to load essentially whatever content they want to the location of their choice on a user's machine. Okay. So people can just use your Internet Explorer and just go ahead and just virus, 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 and they can even delete stuff. So, um... If you like your hard drive being something you and only you control, mm, not using Internet Explorer would be a good first step, though. Uh, what else? Yeah, basically, yeah, just read the article. Very interesting. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, and there's an idiot who put a comment here. Take his advice, although someone already is noting that. Yeah, he's saying to speed up your Indian computer, go to. Uh, this guy has a spelling of a fucking gimp. Speed up your computer, go to run and type cmd dot dle d e l c column slash uh, backslash windows backslash system32 and say yes. Well, first of all, that really wouldn't work on any computer. That only work on any computer with Windows. And two, don't do that. You'd be deleting everything, basically. If you deleted uh, System32, um, you don't have a computer anymore, at least not with Windows. You're going to have to get Ubuntu, or buy Vista again, because most of the time when you get a, di a computer with Vista pre-installed, they don't give you a disk. This is my experience. So yeah, um, do that if you want to fuck yourself over. So don't take that guy's advice. Uh, what else is there? Not much. Okay. So yeah, don't use Internet Explorer, use Firefox, and better yet, don't use Windows to begin with. Yeah, and check out the article itself. In fact, check out the whole website. The whole website.